Hello, Facebook, and hello, Instagram. So I am going to be kind of bopping back and forth between two cameras. I'm going to bring you down just a little bit more, Instagram, so that uh, I, I'm not, I don't want to be rude. I, want, I don't want to turn my head too much. Maybe my eye, my eye gaze will go up to you, Instagram, and then back down to you, Facebook. So I've got, you should see, this is like the coolest thing. I wish I had, well, actually, my son has a, uh, a, a, a camera phone i can take a picture of this this would be so cool he, he might be joining us by the way you guys so in the um in the little post that i put up earlier today um i had mentioned that uh someone might be making an appearance my son who was supposed to be on the video last week i think if you guys watched two weeks ago i said that we would be doing some spring break crafts but we weren't able to do that we weren't able to do it so um, I posted a replay, like a rewind from a couple years ago. And so, um, but anyway, so he's going to be coming home any minute now. And I decided I'm, you know, if he's going to come in and he wants to come on, come on down here and hang out with me, then he's welcome because the more the merrier and you guys love him and he helps, he helps keep it going. So yeah, Christy says London will be making faces. Yes, he'll probably be making faces for, for sure. So, uh, but I'm going to let him uh, see if he can make one of these little beads because I want to be doing a demo for you guys. Um, and, uh, and yeah, we're going to, we're going to have a good time. So let me uh, jump in for uh, those of you guys on Facebook. Hello. Uh, and also Instagram that I didn't, I didn't introduce myself. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. My name is Kara Gott Warner and I'm the host of Power Pearls podcast. And I jump on here every Friday for Power Pearls Unplugged which is the live edition of Power Pearls podcast. And by the way, Power Pearls is going live again next week, you guys, the 13th of April. Episodes are coming out, and now, guess what? Every single week. I'm going to have a co-host. I've been talking about her a bunch. Her name is Tabitha Hedrick. You guys probably know Tabitha. So she's going to be, um, she's going to be my co-host. First couple of episodes, though, are going to be solo episodes. And so I'm going to be just kind of reintroducing the, the podcast, letting you guys know about the frequency, um, you know, weekly, how, you know, just kind of the direction, because I'm going to be taking some new directions. Um, so it's going to be fun. So you guys want to be checking that out. Now, you, and I meant to do this. I just didn't have time. Of course, I always think of things at the last minute. Um, if you want to get reminders, uh, I'm going to actually create, I'm going to just make a note right now, um, but just give me like an hour after this video, and if you're watching the replay tomorrow, Saturday, God, I always have to think about the future, right? Like, we're in the future, but we're in the present, whatever. But if you go to karagotwarner.com forward slash podcast, okay, you can get on the list to get reminded whenever I go live, whenever a pod, new podcast goes live so you can definitely go ahead and do that okay so uh christy says um actually uh cater crochet crocheables um says hey Kara, can we still get in get the intuitive intuition shawl video so what you mean is the intuitive shawl maker um situation intuitive shawls yes we are actually so that's closed right now right so it's it's an annual thing that i do Last, last April, I did it for the first time, that's opening back up. So you're kind of getting ahead of me because I'm actually going to share that a little bit here. Uh, so um, that's opening up the end of, of this month. April 30th is the first day of the challenge. So the structure is a little bit different. So if you guys want a refresher, you can definitely take that again. And then during the free challenge, the free mini course is what I'm calling it now because it really is like a little mini course. Um, then at the end of that, and or I should say during, I'll be talking about the paid course that you guys can learn more about. So it's a master shawl maker workshop, which after you take the mini challenge, you'll totally be primed and ready for that. Okay, so what are we doing today? We're going to be uh, we're going to be diving into our stash. So it's all about sustainable de-stashing. I'm going to be talking about that a lot more. So I'm going to be talking about how to use uh, plant-based ba fibers, cruelty-free fibers. This is all really important stuff to me, but uh, we're still going to be working with wool 
because that's what we all have in our stash. But my focus when it comes to wool is always going to be what can we do uh, with what we have on hand, what we already have in our stash. How can we get really funky and DIY? That's the focus here. That's the approach from, from this point forward. And so I've got um, some really fun things that I'm going to show you. Um, so just, just a little bit of a teaser. You know, Instagram, you guys already saw this. So some little bracelets that you guys um, can make once you learn how to make these little balls. And really, it's a matter of just playing around making these little balls out of roving yarn. And so I have some little pieces here cut up. Um, and then I have this, this little bowl filled with little balls that I've already made. So you guys can see that. Yeah, Facebook, can you guys see that? There it is. And so I've got this, um, this cool little ball that is, uh, so I was playing around with uh, lace weight yarn with two, with two smaller little beads and then a, a center bead. And so over the last couple of weeks, I've been talking about how to make prayer beads, also called mala, like a mala uh, is a traditional word. And so this, I made this to be a guru bead. This is a guru bead. And then all the little beads would be the, you know, sort of the, the beads that, that make up the actual prayer beads that go around. And I was just going to make a small version because that's 21, 21 beads is a small wrist mala or 108 beads make up a traditional, like a very big, almost like a necklace, right? So you've seen people wearing those like a necklace kind of a funky, you can make it funky, fun, fashiony, but they're also very functional when it comes to, um, you can say little mantras, things like that. Um, you know, affirmations, things that make you feel good, make you feel happy. Um, and, uh, and so, yeah, so before we get started, I just wanna give a shout out to those of you watching today's video. So please, if you haven't already done so, share your name and where you are viewing from. And then I'm gonna jump in to Facebook and uh, Instagram to see uh, where you guys are all uh, coming from. So let's see, uh, Amanda's here, hello. Bev joined and Vicki, hello on Facebook. Uh, and then we have Christy um, and Carter Crochables. Is that you, Kim, I wonder? Um, and yeah, so we've got uh, some fun stuff, fun people happening here. Fun people, fun things happening. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, it's been one of those uh, one of those days, by the way. So I'm just gonna take a little sip of my matcha tea. So Facebook, remember a couple weeks ago, because so I shared this with you guys uh, on Instagram. So I'm gonna be working with this yarn. This is a roving yarn. So yes, we already talked about this on Instagram to remember who who I you know where I mentioned this. So. Uh, I gave away, I had a little freebie for how to make this cozy, and you get my green matcha tea recipe that's in this cup. And if you go to karagotwarner.com forward slash cozy, you can get this. So a little quick and dirty guide, um, Facebook, so you guys can see this. And then uh, a little, my little matcha tea recipe, my go-to, my afternoon delight, which I'm ha having right now. Hopefully it doesn't get cold. So, all right, you guys. So I just also want to let you know that this episode of Power Pearls Podcast Unplugged is brought to you by Stitchucation Shawls, the art of intuitive shawl making. And I'd like to invite you to sign up for my free mini course that's coming up in just a couple of weeks. It's starting uh, April 30th, and it's all about bringing forth the intuitive shawl maker in you. Uh, and you'll have this satisfaction once you finish the free mini course uh, to trust your inner inner wisdom that only you have. So I'm going to help you find that. Uh, and so if you want to take part in this amazing workshop that's happening soon, you can go to caragotwarner.com forward slash shawls. So that's caragotwarner.com forward slash shawls. So when you sign up, I'll actually share, and you're gonna have to again give me a give me a, a few minutes because I really want you guys to have this. And this is a last minute thought. I'm so impulsive. I'm so last minute. It's crazy. But I have this little guide. It's called the Yarn Substitution Guide for Yarn for Shawl Makers. And so I would love to share this with you. So if you sign up now, you'll get this little guide. So then when you're ready to go, if you don't want, you know, because we're going to be working with stash yarns for the challenge. Uh, but also, if you're going to go ahead and start creating your own shawl, 
uh, which I, I start you off on, so you'll get a good foot for that, footing for that, then you'll know how to um, substitute yarns as well. And I'll be sharing some other uh, sustainable options. Um, I'm going to start working with a yarn called Vegan Yarn, and I'm really excited about working with this yarn. I've been I dying to start talking about it, and finally here I am. I didn't think I was going to start talking about it, but here I am mentioning it. So you're going to hear me talking about that more. Plant-based yarns that are great alternatives to wool yarn. So if this is something that you're interested in learning about, there's not a whole lot out there about it. So I'm going to be talking about that. Okay. And so also, uh, Power Pearls podcast is going live next Friday. New episodes, okay? Brand new episodes going live on April 13th. So if you guys, uh, you know, just mark it in your calendar because it's happening, finally. So new new season, um, it's going to be with a co-host and weekly. That's what's really so different, right? Because for a while it was every two weeks. Now it's going to be every single week I'm going to be going live. And the format's going to be a lot different, um, but I think you're really going to absolutely love it. Okay, so that's it. That's my spiel. And now I'm going to ask you a question, then I'm going to get into the demo. Okay, so the question is, what kinds of things have you guys felted? Do you guys love felting? If you're here, I'm thinking you do. And what is your favorite part about the actual process? And I'd love for you to jump into the comments and share what your thoughts are what your experience is with, with actually felting, and if you have any tips and tricks to share with the group, either in Instagram or on Instagram or here on Facebook, it, it would be awesome to hear from you to see what you, what, what you have up your sleeve uh, in regards to felting. And I'm going to show you a few of my little tips and tricks, too, because that's why you guys are here today. So uh, let's get going. So here is, while you're thinking about the question, because I'd love for you guys to jump in and start, let's start having a convo. Um, all right. <clears throat> so what do you need? Here's what you're going to need to get started. And you guys can collect these things right here, right where we are. Um, and, uh, oh, sorry, you guys. Um, you just, I just lost you on Instagram because I got a phone call. Oh, no. Oh my gosh, that's never happened before. So maybe I'll have to get back on. Um, oh, really? Okay. Oh, and now you can, that's right, you can save videos on Instagram. Okay, sorry for that little aside. So let me try this again. Uh oh. <laughs> sorry, I'm just going to try. Mm. It's my husband trying to call me. That's what happened. Um, okay, I'm going to try to go live. <clears throat> and I put it on Do Not Disturb, but now I realize I didn't put him on Do Not Disturb because he's my husband. All right, I'm going to try this again. Okay, so before, let's, okay, hey, sorry about that. So we're back, and hopefully we don't get cut off again. My husband tried calling Instagram. So, so sorry. I'm so sorry, so sorry. Husband tried to call. Okay, so what are you going to need? Now, you guys can collect all this stuff, okay? You can go ahead and collect it all, and, uh, and then we'll, we'll jump in and we'll get started. Um, so what do you need is some roving yarn. So this yarn I used uh, for this cozy, right? Remember the cozy? Cozy? This is cool. I'm going to take a sip. I need my little sip of my afternoon delight. I'm sorry. Hmm. So London isn't here. He should be coming in any minute now. Then I'm going to let him play around with this too. So roving yarn is great, okay, because you can, you know, you can separate the fibers really, really easily. So I cut a, a few pieces. So this is, by the way, this is uh, this is Cascade Spontaneous. It's really awesome. So I cut a few pieces here, and I have them so we can play around with these. Okay, you see that? Um, and then you'll need a little spray bottle. Here's a little spray bottle. A little spray bottle. And this is really cool because I got this with these water-soluble crayons. They're called gelatos. Have you guys heard of these? They're so cool. I use them a lot in my journals, my visual journals that you've seen me play around with that I kind of integrate the yarn the yarn stuff too. You know, I'm, all, I'm, I'm an integrator. I love to, I'm multi-passionate, you know. 
So this little cute little thing came with it because you can just kind of spray onto the page if you're working with the crayons and smush, you know, kind of like smear and stuff like that. So, so here's this little bottle. Okay, my husband keeps trying to call, so maybe I should, uh, um, maybe I should talk to him. What do you think? It might be an emergency, guys. Hello. Hello. Oh, jeez. Hello. Hello. Yes, I can. Yeah, I told him not to go, but I guess Chris, I, oh boy, okay. Hmm, well, um, I thought she was, so, I mean, anyway, all right, so I, I'm going to go. I'm like, actually, like, I'm, oh, you are? No, they didn't, so, all right. Okay, well, the garage door, the inside door is open because I'm on my live video right now as I'm talking to you. <laughs> well, that's really weird. Yeah, okay. Thank you. I'm so, uh, okay, see you later. Love you. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, so actually I can pause the video, but I don't know how to get you guys back on, uh, on Instagram. Anywho, here we are. Um, so that's why London didn't walk through the door. Isn't that weird? Hmm. So um, Instagram, can you guys hear me? Or I mean, can you see me and hear me? I just need somebody to say, yes, we can see you, or I can see you, and I can hear you. Let's leave it at that, because for some reason it's black. Okay, so you can, okay, good. Let's just go with that. Um, because for some reason. Anyway, <clears throat> let's start over here, right? Roving yarn. I'm going to go through this quick. What are you going to need to get started? We need roving yarn. We need our little spray bottle, right? We need a sharp tapestry needle. So here's our little, um, okay. Sharp tapestry needle, okay? Uh, and that's for like putting holes through these little tiny beads if you want to use. Um, so like I showed you guys, the little, um, like it, it, you know, you can get through them pretty easily. See, look at that. So once they're dry, so just a little bit of, just a little tip. Um, if you make beads, cause there's one here that I just made right before we started. Um, it takes literally like 30 seconds, but when they're dry, you're, if you have a really sharp needle, you'll be able to get through that easily. No problem. No problem. Um, so we've got our, and then a skewer. Oh yeah. Where's the skewer? Here it is. I got a skewer for that. So this is if you want to make bigger holes. Like this little bracelet, you see this? This little bracelet has, um, it's an eye cord that I made for this. And so you'd have, so if you take a look, you can see that um, those holes would be a lot bigger, right? And so the way I made those holes was with a skewer. I mean, it's like what you got around the house, right? So I love that, that whole idea of being resourceful. You know, we're being sustainable too because we're not, creating a larger carbon footprint because we're using all the stuff that we have. We didn't go out to buy anything. It's a beautiful thing, right? So the skewer, uh, an eye cord, which is not really something you need, but you can make, and then you can actually uh, thread your, you know, put the, the with, a, a, with a blunt a tapestry needle, one that's pretty big, or you could use a crochet hook, or, or there's so many different ways you could get that eye cord through the hole if the hole's big enough, right? Right? Uh, let's see. And then floss. Or uh, so we've, I've got some DMC floss here, right? Some floss or like this little, um, so I've got this container here with some of my leftover yarns from projects uh, that I've created in the past. Um, and yeah, so that's something I like to keep if I'm going to use it for small projects because as far as I'm concerned, small is beautiful. We can do so much with these small little tiny projects. It's, it's like a beautiful thing and I'm getting ah, caught in my wires. Okay, so uh, let's see if anybody had any, any questions here. Um, all right, so I asked you guys that question, but I guess nobody 
Um, nobody has any response to that. So I'll ask you guys again, okay? Felting, what, do you, what have you done with felting? What is your favorite thing? What kind of projects do you love? What kind of projects do you love the most when it comes to felting? And do you have any tips or tricks that you'd like to share with the group? So go ahead and share it right now. And then I'm gonna jump in with the demo. So I was hoping that London could help because he'd really love to. <clears throat> I'm sure he's gonna have so much fun. But I'm gonna show you um, before I, I, I actually, I will show you how to make the bead and then the possibilities because the possibilities are endless. There's so many things that we can do. Um, okay, so I showed you that I was working with this roving yarn, right? Um, Let's see, I'm gonna move you guys over. Ooh, I lost you. Uh-oh, here we are. Oh, okay, so here's our roving yarn. And so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pull, pull it apart, pull the fibers apart like this, that's it. This is why roving yarn is really, really good, okay? So you see how I'm pulling that apart, really pulling all those fibers away from each other? because that will really help us to make these little balls and the felting process will be much, much nicer. So there's that, right? So it created like a little fluffy piece. And then, well, you know, cause I've got this, um, this little container of lots of different yarns that I've collected. I just throw them in here. Um, little bits, little tiny bits. They're so precious, right? That's how I look at it. Um, and so I've got some other colors that when they're uh, pulled apart and felted, it'll create little like mixed colors in, a, in an interesting way. It'll kind of look a little bit different. So, um, you know, like it, like almost like the way when you mix paint. So I'm just going to cut a little piece there. And this is an interesting little orange with little bits of blue, I think, in there. See that? And then I'm just going to pull that apart too. Pull it apart. Um, and this will just have some of this, these little bits of the orange in there. So there's that. And then I'm going to pick up my, I'm going to take a little bit of the, of, the, of the purple out and then put these two together, right? Just kind of mix them up a little bit. So there, there it is, right? And then I'm going to take my little spray bottle, my little spray bottle. And I'm just going to put it in my hand like this. I'm just going to, whoop. So all I'm going to do is spray, spray, spray. Get it nice and, and wet. And it doesn't have to be really, really wet. So I have a tissue over there. So it took some of the, so really kind of mushing it together. Okay. I think I'm going to end you guys over on Instagram and then maybe bring you guys back. Um, because it's, it's kind of making me crazy because I can't see you guys. Um, let me get back. Uh, da, 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 da. All right, so so here it is. It's like a little wet piece of you know wool, and then the trick is you put it. I put it in my hands like so, and rub like crazy. Now here's the trick. Here's how you have to do it. Until it's dry, until your hands dry, and it's hard to actually do this. And then it's going to. You're, that's when the heat comes in and the friction. Okay. I'm just going to keep on going. This is a workout. It's a workout, you guys. Okay, it's dry. it's getting drier. So now it's really dry. I've got some friction. Woo! There it is. Voila. See that? See the little ball? It's a cool. Look at that. See if you can see it better here. No, you can't see it like that. But anyway, it is a little tiny felted ball. And you know what, I wanted to make it a little bit bigger, but I wasn't sure how, how big that one would come out. Because like I said, I, I had some of these other ones here. Um, like here's a big, here's a bigger one. Here's a bigger one. Uh, yeah, so that's it. That's how you do it. It's that simple, you guys. It's that simple. So what are the possibilities? I just wanted to show you a few of the possibilities. So 
over the course of time, I've done lots of fun stuff. I've mixed the beads, you know, with traditional traditional beads. So I've got some some things, you know, beads like this that I just pick up random beads that I like. And then, you know, this I showed you this earlier. Um, here's a little box that I made. So, you know, it's like really you could totally do this with like um, squares. Uh, what do you call it? You know, gauge gauge swatch uh, squares or just little squares that you make, and then you can sew, and then you can felt and turn it into a box like this. And then, you know, and it's just fun. You know, I mean, the back isn't the prettiest, but it's not a big deal. And so this is a little box. I made lots of these little boxes over the course of time. I made another one with little hearts on it. And um, so there's a box. And then you know pieces of fabric that you have. Um, like I said, a swatch, a gauge, gauge swatch that you can just cut it out into a circle and, you know, make a coaster. Um, and then like a little, here's a little, another smaller piece. So I, I love to, this is why I will never throw away any swatches. It's never going to happen, especially wool swatches because they can be turned into, uh, you know, all kinds of fun felted pieces. And so I'm going to just cut this one into like a little diamond. Um, so I just saw an angry face. Who is angry? Somebody angry at me? Gosh, I hope not. Or maybe that was a mistake. I like to think it's a mistake. So here I made a little diamond. And then um, oh, and another thing that's great to use is your pinking shears. So to, to felt your swatches and then uh, get out your pinking shears so you have like an interesting edge. But I just made a little diamond. And then I pulled these, you know, some different... Uh, little felted balls that I have right here. So these three little balls, you see those? The little balls here, three. And like put them on the top like this of the, the little the little diamond. And then you could you could just sew those in place. You could just sew those in place and then maybe make and then after you sew them, pick up pick up some pick up a on the edge make a little I-cord ring, and then you have a little ring. See that? I mean, it's that simple. You should probably, um, it's kind of hard to show you guys. Like Instagram, you guys get a better view, because I can kind of, you guys can see yeah. a little bit better. See that? Just kind of make a little felted piece, and then put the little the little balls. Oh, you get it. No, Facebook can see that too. There you go. <laughs> so anyway. So those are some of the possibilities that you can you can just have a lot of fun with felting um, and uh, oh yeah one more thing and then I hear I hear someone I hear my son he's coming he's coming downstairs so I have this little purse and that I, I designed this um, years ago and it's a cute little felted purse you guys can see see those shapes that um, that are here those are just from swatches uh, that I just cut little circles out and then use little running stitches to attach them to the felted bag. So this is uh, this little pattern is in my Etsy shop. So if you want to check it out and uh, you know get it get your hands on a copy of this pattern, if you go to etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash I got knits. You see that? I got knits. Here it is. So uh, hey London how you doing? I'm sorry because um, what did you see the hymen? No, you didn't see Chris outside waiting. She didn't come to pick the boys up either. What, what about the boys? You don't know. That's really strange. Hmm. Do you want to make some? Uh, you want to make some of these beads? You want to make one? I made one right here. So London's here. He's gonna make them. Um, it's gonna make a felted bead. Okay, so um, let me show you how to do it. Okay, you see all this stuff here? Mm -hmm. Here, you want to come over? Let's bring you into the picture. Look, I have Catwoman. I was gonna, uh, if you weren't gonna be here, I was gonna show Catwoman and say, you know, in the spirit of of having London with us, here's little Lego Catwoman, right? Lego Catwoman yeah. matches the purple yarn. Look at this. Lego Catwoman. It's like a match. It's a match. Look at that. Isn't that cool? So do you want to do this, London? So I'm going to show you 
how to do it. Look at that. That's cool. I think I should probably pose Catwoman next to this yarn and take a cool, like, Insta story. What do you see what your think? thingies? What thing? The comment. The what? The comments. Down here. <clears throat> look. Oh. So, look, everyone's saying hello. Dev says, hi, London. Christy says, hi, London. So Vicky says, great idea for old swatches. You could also use it for wool applique. That's really a cool idea, Vicky. Thanks for sharing that. Um, also, let's see. Vicky says, wool painting is my favorite, but I have wet felted. Nuno felted, too. I don't, um, I don't know what Nuno. That sounds, there's so many ways to do it, right, Vicky? Um, but I didn't use any hot water, no soap, and so I have this little spray bottle, and that's all that you need. So, London, we're going to do this now. So, you see, I have some fibers. We pull, I pulled these apart unless you want, you want to do it yourself. So this is what you have to do. Let me show you. So you take, we have some of these pieces from that yarn and you pull them, you pull them apart like this. Want to do that? Pull them apart so it looks kind of like, like it's all like this. Okay. Mm. And then, but no, 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 like this, like this, look, like this. So like this, like this. see? And then you're going to make, here, put that in your hand. And then, how about this green? This looks fun. How about this green one? It's already done. You don't have to do it anymore. No, 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 like this. Keep it like that. You want to keep it like that, right? So it's almost like a little, like a fluffy piece. Same thing here, right? I'm going to do it for you. And then you're going to put it in your hand. So I pulled, see, I pulled the fibers apart. And then we're going to make, we're going to mix them together a little bit. And we're going to turn this into a little ball. Here, so put that in your hand. I'm gonna put that in your hand. Let's put it in this hand. Mm. Put that in your hand, and then I'm gonna spray. And now kind of mush it up, mush it up. And then, so you guys can see what's happening. It's all wet. Let's put a little more water on there. Okay, so it's nice and wet. Nothing, not too crazy wet. Okay, so you just wipe, wipes it off. Be careful of um, Lucy butt behind you. Okay, so put it in your other hand. Put this in your hand, and then this is what you're gonna do. Do this really hard, really fast. Do it until there's no more water. But do it like this in circles, like a circular motion. Can you do a circular motion? Can you do a circular motion? Because look, it's gonna look like this when you're done. It's gonna look like this when you're done. Imagine that you're making a little ball. Keep going, keep going. It's a workout. 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 You it's a workout. Yes, I did. I made all of those. All of these little, see all those cool little balls? I made all of them. Almost. Keep going. Really hard. Mm. <laughs> Is it, it's a lot of work, isn't it? You want me to finish it? Let's see how it looks. It's not bad. Sorry to leave you at school, Bubby. That was not very... Here it is! Here it is! Yeah. There it is, see? It's small, but it works. So that's it, you guys. That's it. That's all I got for you today on this Power Pearls Unplugged Friday. So we are getting sustainable with our stash. We're having a lot of fun. We're gonna be keep. We're gonna keep on doing this next week. Podcast live, the first of 2018, and now it's gonna be a weekly show. So I hope you guys can listen, listen in the morning to the podcast, and hang with me in the afternoon here on Facebook. So visit powerpearlspodcast.com. Mark your calendars for next week. And that's it. I guess we're done. Are we done, London? Stash. Did I cover everything? Was there anything else I needed to talk about? I don't think so. So I'm going to say goodbye, Instagram. No! Bye-bye. Go ball! Utah. Oh, yeah, because I was in Utah. That's a long story. I was in Utah last week for, like, a minute. So anyway, you guys, have a good weekend. Go See you next ball. week. Bye. Bye. Hello!